Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. And the consequences of that failure are severe. 170,000 Americans dead. Millions of jobs gone. Well, those at the top take in more than ever. Our worst impulses unleashed. Our proud reputation around the world badly diminished. And our democratic institutions threatened like never before. So let me tell you about my friend, Joe Biden. 12 years ago, when I began my search for a vice president, I didn't know I'd end up finding a brother. Joe and I come from different places, different generations, but what I quickly came to admire about Joe Biden is his resilience, born of too much struggle, his empathy, born of too much grief. He made me a better president, and he's got the character and the experience to make us a better country. And in my friend Kamala Harris, he's chosen an ideal partner who is more than prepared for the job. Someone who knows what it's like to overcome barriers and who's made a career fighting to help others live out their own American dream. Joe and Kamala will restore our standing in the world. And as we've learned from this pandemic, that matters. Joe knows the world and the world knows him. He knows that our true strength comes from setting an example that the world wants to follow. A nation that stands with democracy, not dictators. A nation that can inspire and mobilize others to overcome threats like climate change and terrorism, poverty and disease. Well, here's the point. This president and those in power, those who benefit from keeping things the way they are, they know they can't win you over with their policies. So they're hoping to make it as hard as possible for you to vote and to convince you that your vote does not matter. That is how they win. This administration has shown it will tear our democracy down if that's what it takes for them to win. So we have to get busy building it up by pouring all our efforts into these 76 days and by voting like never before for Joe and Kamala so that we leave no doubt about what this country that we love stands for.